Mine's Mr. Hurst. I'm going to be your teacher for the year. So this is just where I kind of kind of show you uh, the intro. Uh, I'm going to kind of go over who I am, what this course is about. I'll try and keep it brief and uh, give you just a basic gist of what we're in for this year. Uh, I wanted to say just right off the top, uh, obviously this is a different year, but we're in this together and we're going to make the best of it. So I guess first things first, uh, who is this guy, Mr. Hurst? Uh, so um, my name is Ian Hurst, but you know, you're going to respectfully call me Mr. Hurst. Uh, I have uh, four kids and uh, my favorite place to go is Disneyland. Uh, I also like going to OMSI and exploring the world out there. Um, we like getting out there and uh, seeing what there is to enjoy out of the world. Um, I teach engineering, um, and that's what you're here for. Um, and I want all of you to see yourself as an engineer uh, through this year. That's the experience I'm looking for you to uh, enjoy. Um, just kind of the way I set up my classroom. Um, I kind of expect the best from you guys to show up. Um, I am very optimistic and, and hopeful that you're going to show up with your best self. Um, there will come challenges that, you know, your attitude might bounce with mine, and uh, we're going to get through that together. Uh, I think if we kind of have respect for each other, um, where I give you the best benefit of the doubt, and we just try to communicate through it, um, we're going to have a great year. Um, I do expect, um, in even the online uh, teaching environments, that we kind of understand that if somebody's talking, especially me, the teacher, trying to deliver some information, you're the respectful listening student who kind of understands that right now I just need to listen, I'll get my turn, and I will give you the opportunity to ask your questions and um, I really value your input, so um, there's going to be space for that. Just don't talk while I'm talking. That's one of my big things. Um, and yeah, I do like a good meme. Um, it is, you know, it's true. It is what it is. So that's kind of how I run my classroom. Um, I want you to be yourself. Um, I expect you to bring who you are, and I'm gonna respect you for that. And um, like that meme was kind of pointing out, um, I will accept you for who you are, but I do expect you to be respectful through that. Um, and that's kind of the joke. So uh, that's a little bit about me. Now, this is all the different subjects I teach. We're gonna go into, all right, so this is where you have me for AP Computer Science. So I just wanna give you a basic overview of what this course is. Um, this is usually what I do at the start of the year, is kinda, of, hey, this is the course, this is what you're in for, this is how I teach it, these are a couple basic things that you need to know uh, day one. So, uh, what is AP Computer Science? Um, it's kinda of that study of, uh, computers in a kind of more scientific way. I know that sounds super cliche, but like we understand that like computers run on zeros and ones. Uh, it's on and off signals that kind of go through the computer through electrical pulses, and that's how computers work. But how do you tell the computer to work? And so this is where you, as kind of the more scientists, do that through computer code. So you're interfacing with this computer that runs on just on and off signals, but you're doing it through computer code that tells the computer what to do. And there's also graphical interfaces for that and whatnot, but we're gonna kind of deep dive into how to get the basics of a computer science experience understood through Java. So we're learning Java is a language that is uh, pretty much one of the most universal languages uh, in the computer science field. Um, Python and Java are right up there, and then there's a bunch of other ones that are secondaries, but uh, this is the one we're going with for this course, so you're going to learn how to write Java code this year. Um, and not just be able to type it up and you made a thing, but 
I want you to understand why it's working the way it's working. You know, what happens if the syntax is off or if some of the um, structural pieces in order for that code to actually work, uh, I want you to be able to understand it. And that's the goal of this course, is really give you an actual deeper understanding of some of the stuff that you can kind of just figure out. I also want to be very intentionally accepting so that everyone understands that this is you know, what a computer scientist looks like. Um, this is not fully representative, but it's trying to address some of the stereotypes that um, are out there. And so uh, I just want to make sure that you understand that is where I'm coming from is trying to make sure that you're included in that. Um, I also wanted to kind of mention that computer science uh, has all this overlap with the, uh, the outside world, the real natural world. And so um, if you kind of have this connection with nature or something, like most humans do, I believe that there's a connection with an overlap where your skills and your knowledge in computer science can directly overlap and enhance the natural world in a way that you can do some cool stuff. I also think that computer science overlaps with um, the emotional, mental, soft sciences, things that um, uh, kind of get to the soul of humanity. And that's what I think we can make some great progress with that with computer science. I don't think it's just someone sitting down and coding forever that has no connection with the real um, human interaction side of the world. Um, and my main thing I want to leave you with with this course is Anyone can code. Um, it doesn't matter who you are. I'm going to take you from maybe absolutely no experience, have never even thought of coding or knew what it was about. Kind of even scary. It's like, wait, I don't understand that there's another language out there, you know. But I'm going to level you up and take you from where you're at to some better knowledge of it. And what I need from you is just uh, your effort and your attention, and we will get through this together. Um, together means uh, I also need help sometimes. So uh, this AP Computer Science course at iTech is a partnership with Teals. Uh, Teals is a Microsoft philanthropy project that gets computer science in every high school. That's their mission statement. So it's going to work through teamwork. You know, what's going to work? Teamwork. So uh, I'm your AP Computer Science teacher, but we also have two volunteers. Um, I don't have the pictures of her yet, you know, they're supposed to send them, but hey, this is summer and we're kind of getting there. Uh, but their name is, names are Jeannie and Christian. They're going to be remoting in. Um, we'll do a little bit of an intro, uh, probably first day as well, that they're going to share a little bit about themselves briefly. but. Uh, Jeannie works for Microsoft and Christian works for Uber and uh, they have day jobs and they work for these tech companies and they're going to be here to help us out and help us understand some of that deeper code stuff that I kind of have a pretty good idea of how it all works but I'm learning along the way and so I have these helpers to uh, get me there. So that's kind of how this course is, is set up. So um, the other thing with that I guess is you know, this is how I think I am with online teaching. I'm organized, I got this, it's down. And I might be a little messy and loose with the, the reality of things. So we will get through this together. I'm gonna try the best I can. I'm excited to have you in class. I will see you online. <laughs>